So, just a quick vlog, not really a formal review or anything, but I finished watching all nine episodes of Earthspark. It's really more 11 episodes when you consider the finale and first episode are like sort of two-parters, but not really, just longer episodes. But first I want to preface this with saying, we're introduced right away to the fight choreography when they're tracking down. Hard top of all characters showing that the people writing the show are pulling lore and characters from all throughout the franchise to create something really new here. And Alita's fighting style and choreography is just on point. But overall, my main thoughts on this whole thing are the majority of the series is definitely going to be like slice of life stuff, which is fine by me refreshing train your pace but there is still plenty of action and interesting lore bits here or there everywhere great character moments great character writing and i had a script but i forgot i'm going to keep this in here as part of the intro but yes earth spark is good i'm still a little bit on the art style but it looks a lot better in motion but Earthspark is just looking really solid so far. The character writing and dynamics are really solid. I love the family angle and the um, mixed race allegories for the Terrans themselves. Because uh, out of character, I'm out of the kayfabe of me being a super special supercomputer. I am actually half Seneca, half German myself, so. It's interesting to see those sorts of struggles in the sort of fiction I enjoy, so it's really nice to see. Um, Twitch and Thrashing seem to almost be partially organic because of how they were born, which we'll later find out is because of a major plot reason and something that's been in, like, lore bibles and everything for Transformers for the longest time and is only now actually being used in a show. Um, and the parents learn everything through, like, history books and comic history books, which is a really interesting thing to know, and how similar they are to, um, Marvel's comics in the art style. I really enjoy how we're learning about this version of the Transformers War, at the same time that the new Cybertronians are. He is also a really welcome addition to the main cast. It's interesting to see him in a role where after the war, he basically has to get used to adapting to life and family outside of being a big hero. So he can actually teach the Terrans about their culture from Cybertron, as well as adapting to being part of it, part of a family. I honestly think the decision to make this a post-war series with the more slice of life tones was definitely the right one, and having the kids as the main characters makes it so when cons do show up, they're that much more impactful and intimidating. And it's also really interesting to see how Optimus and Megatron's relationship is, and how they end up conflicting and headbutting on where they want things to go with their people and culture, but overall, they do want the same thing. And that's why they're still willing to work together, despite the fact that the organization, Ghost, still has a lot of growing up to do to be able to really accept Cybertronians into, that, into society. Now, as for the actual main villain, um, Dr. Mandroid, as all the marketing material calls him, and as Twitch and Thrash named him. It's Circuit Breaker. He's just the male Circuit Breaker. Which is nice to see. I also really love all of the creative redesigns and personality adjustments given to all of the characters and reinventing them in new, new and unique ways. And uh, Soundwave is hot. And that's all I have to say. Pit out. Okay, that's not actually all I have to say. There is so much to talk about when it comes to Earthspark and the lore implications and theory crafting and all of that sort of stuff. And also just in general, ah, 
like just a few months back, I made a video responding to um, what TJ Omega was saying about whether or not Transformers can do anything new anymore. And I ended up saying that I think it absolutely can. And that to do it, they would need to do a sort of drastic reset and reboot. And I think that's what Earthspark is. Earthspark is the reboot that this franchise has been needing to survive. I just hope lots of people are able to see it through Paramount Plus, since it's not on TV anymore. Okay, for real now, though. Tiv out.